But of course, fine dining is a huge part of Royal Ascot. And how about this restaurant here on five? What a view of the race course you get. An absolutely superb view. Just look down there. Gorgeous morning, gorgeous afternoon in prospect. You can see the uh, Queen Anne enclosure. And if the cameraman can spin around, you can see the uh, Windsor enclosure. And then right at the end, those two gates at the far end of the strait, that's where the Queen will be entering around about two o'clock for the Royal Procession. So you get a brilliant view from here. This is the On Five restaurant. One of the uh, one of a number of fine dining restaurants in the, uh, in the many enclosures here at Royal Ascot, and delighted to be joined by Chef Phil Howard. Um, Phil, uh, nice to be back at Ascot. You seem to be a, a bit of a regular here. Yeah, the third, third year, and uh, no, you, actually, the thing that really keeps me coming back is the desire to not the desire to do better, but actually, if you based on experience, you have the ability to actually improve the quality of the product. And Ascot is so much about excellence and ironing out the wrinkles, coming out with more intelligent menus, knowing the logistics a bit better means that you can actually just do a better job. So, um, so year on year, I kind of ex expect it to get easier, but it never does. But it's always, it's always, it's always a great team uh, effort, and uh, and I love it. What are the logistics then of um, cooking here at Royal Ascot and do you design the menu differently specifically? Well, it's a lot of cover. You know, I, I work in a restaurant now that has 64 seats maximum, and um, and this is this is that we've got 196 today. So it's a lot, a lot of people. Um, it's fast and furious. The timing of the of, of the meals is not governed by people or me. It's governed by the racing. So that makes it complicated. Um, there's afternoon tea. There's cheese. There's you know, it, it just is. It, there's a, there's an awful lot of food, and it starts at 11:30, whereas in, in my restaurant, 12:30 would be perhaps the first table. So there's just you know, it's early starts and fast and furious, just like the racing. Day one here, so how are the stress levels? They are, I never get too stressed, but it is, it is, you know, the time just flies. You know, we're all in the kitchen, we've been running since seven o'clock in the morning, and there's just, you know, we're still several hours short, but we'll get there, we will get there. So talk me through the menu that you've um, designed for, for On Five. Um, it's always interesting because you get uh, you have to produce menus for, for this kind of event months in advance. So it's probably in the middle of winter when we were talking about uh, Royal Ascot menu. Um, but we've absolutely, given this extraordinary weather, we've, we've, we've got it right. We've got this wonderful starter of um, cured salmon uh, with elderflower, pickled cucumber, Cornish crab, radishes, a um, little bit of dill oil, a little bit of creme fraiche. It's very, it has to be actually because you're trying to please an awful lot of people with, without choice on the menu. So you have to do something that is very mainstream, but it's cool, it's light, it's delicious, it's very summery. Um, it's just the right kind of dish for Ascot, I think. And goes perfectly with a glass of champagne to start the day? It goes immaculately with a glass of Bollinger to start the, to start the day. Um, we've then got, uh, we've got, you have a choice of the main course, you've got a, a monkfish dish with, um, with sea herbs and, and mussels, which is, um, it's, from a cooking point of view, it's a joy to be able to cook whole large monkfish tails. Normally in a restaurant you're cooking portion by portion. Here we get to cook in volume. And so it actually showcases monkfish to its, to its fullest, which is not often possible to do. Um, but it's just a delicious, clean, pure, very briny taste of the sea. It's lovely. And then a, then a big, bold beef dish because it's Ascot and because there are lots of people who want to eat a big, bold beef dish. Um, and to be honest, it might be 30 degrees out here, but it's beautiful and air-conditioned inside. And, and um, so, so, so that kind of dish still works. Uh, then we've got Stilton. You know, sometimes you have to acknowledge the tradition and heritage in an event with, 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 it, with food. And I think Stilton is just, um, it's the first year I've done Stilton. We've done various preparations of it, but it's, but it's suitable. It has the right kind of gravitas as a cheese for, for this kind of event. And pudding? And then we've got this very pure, clean, delicious vanilla cream, uh, strawberry jelly. It is June, uh, and in England, you have no choice but to put strawberry somewhere on the dessert. Uh, finished with dressed raspberries, raspberry sorbet, a little bit of meringue, and some champagne. Looks fabulous. Beautifully um, presented food. What's your style, your, what would you say is your, your particular um, uh, brand, I guess, with, with food and catering? Mine is very much about the delivery of deliciousness through harmony of flavour. It's an awful word, but it does communicate what I try and communicate. I'm not very technical. I'm not, I have no interest in innovation or trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm in the business of giving pleasure, and, um, and, uh, and it's through harmony of flavour. Being up here with this great view on five I minutes, mean, one of the, the best restaurants, isn't it, within the within this grandstand? It is. It is without a doubt the best restaurant from from, from an operational point of view. And I hope from a food point of view, it is. Um, look at the view. I mean, that takes. Uh, I, you know, I've forgotten. I was like a little mole coming out of his hole. You know, we're buried away in the back there. Um, but we've got a great kitchen. We've got a great space. We've got air conditioning, um, and uh, and a great team of people. So uh, so with a bit of luck, we'll deliver what we set out to do. 
sure you're biased, but I have to agree. It is an absolutely stunning view. Thank you very much, Phil. I'd better let you get back to the kitchen because I'm sure there's lots of preparation to do. Let's we'll have one more look at this gorgeous, gorgeous vista. You could really get a sense of the race course and uh, what a great way to watch the racing from up here on, on five. This is the restaurants on level five in the main, main grandstand.